and so when I use my plant as a tripod. Hello, I'm in the jungle. Something that I've always wanted to do and that I haven't gotten around to doing is uh, I've wanted to make a terrarium. Hi there, I am going to say this word incorrectly for like 30 more seconds and then after that I promise I'm gonna say it correctly, but I'm very aware that it's terrarium now after talking to people at the nursery. Anyway, that's just, bye. For no reason other than the fact that I think that they're beautiful. I like plants. And today, I don't really feel like doing my other work because I worked until 11 o'clock last night. And I woke up this morning just not feeling like I wanted to work all day again. So instead, I'm gonna do this terrarium video. For those of you who don't know what a terrarium is, they look kind of like this. They were super popular in the 70s. And what's not, more uh, hipster and retro and trendy than doing things from the past. Some of them are ginormous. I just wanna make a decent sized one, but knowing me, I'm probably gonna make it a lot harder for myself than I need it to. It's sunny today in Sacramento. Let's freaking take advantage of it and go outside. I don't wanna be stuck in here working on Google Ads. So what the heck do I need? I'm just gonna base it off of like things that I see on Pinterest, but pretty much I've seen like a giant glass encasing of some sort and then going to the nursery and figuring out everything else that I need. So that'll be fun. But the first place I'm gonna go to is Goodwill because they have a bunch of glass stuff in there. Um, excuse me, Mr. Murph, would you like to join me on this adventure? We gotta get going. What are you doing? Just relaxing on your ball like that. Let's go, let's get out of here. I know, we gotta, we gotta go, but go get your, your shoes aren't even on. Your shoes aren't even on. Remember how I said that I like to make things way more complicated for myself than I need to? Hi, <laughs> welcome to my life. Okay, so the plan was to make one terrarium. And while I was at Goodwill, I was walking through and saw, okay, well, you know what? I found, I found three. So I have this beautiful one, play the other, nice round, open kind of look. The second one is a little bit taller. I'm trying different aesthetics, you know? I'm gonna see what kind of grows with it. I'm gonna put the little bit taller ones in this one. I don't, I really don't know. This third one is going to be a present. I am looking through Pinterest and pretty much that's kind of how I put this together. I found out that you need different layers, sand, pebbles, big pebbles, moss, charcoal, soil, which I'm just gonna use the soil that these plants already have. And then decorative rocks on top. So this is supposed to help with like mindfulness because you're taking time to put things together, which is great. We all love mindfulness, don't we? I feel like that's relaxing. And we all know that I need to relax a little bit. Okay, so there's sand in all of them. Anyway, I'm putting down river rocks now. I'm assuming that you could uh, also not pay for rocks and just walk around your neighborhood and steal rocks from the ground. Maybe not from your neighbors who might have purchased them, but you know, maybe going to a nice river bank and taking rocks that nature has provided for you. It's always an option for you. And I hope that you do that, okay. Uh, different options. I didn't have time to go to the riverbank to pick up some rocks, so I bought it. have very intricate roots. I'm not gonna lie, I don't repot that often. Can you tell? Oh, 
I'm gonna try to separate these into three different families. Here is the first family. I'm so sorry to take away from your family. We're doing, we're killing families here. We're separating people. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Who knows? Plant people, please don't come at me at the, in the comments or whatever. Let's just move these around. I think I wanna put this one in here. Cause, oh, I brought the little slug. Oh, it's a little friend. I'm so sorry. You're not welcome in this household, but I'll put you outside. Sorry, Uncle Larry, you're not gonna make it this year. You got too drunk last year. But I don't really know how much soil I need. So maybe now to mention the fact that I'm obviously diverting from the type of content that I was making before, which was mostly photography based. While I love photography and while I love doing that as a job, I don't also want to make videos about it because I don't know, I just don't feel like it's something that I enjoy doing. Uncle Larry, hey, excuse me, sir. I need to take him outside. He's acting up again. Larry has found a new home outside in the garden. Okay, I really love taking pictures and all of that, but I really wasn't enjoying recording um, all of that. And also it was kind of boring. Like the content was boring. Um, I thought it was something that maybe people would like or would find interesting or whatever, but in all realness, I don't know how many people are actually looking for this stuff. And I wasn't just, I wasn't enjoying myself when I was doing it. So I just thought, forget it, forget it. Like why not just try something else, you know? I'm just gonna do things that I enjoy doing like on a regular basis and then make videos off of that, you know? I'm arranging these in a way to where I think they'll do well. Some of this one. I'm also gonna separate these from their family. Where do these separate? So now these are there. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna make more content that kind of revolves around the fact that I'm just doing things for fun and hopefully you enjoy learning from them. I'm gonna go get some more soil from outside. I have so many pots of these just outside. Follow along if you like creativity or if you just like to watch me do terrariums. That'd be such a weird niche is just watching people making terrariums. <laughs> so this is not like the most intricate terrarium, I guess, but God, I'm so in love with this right now. You can probably tell I'm making a mess, but I'm just really proud of myself right now. I'm gonna put, oh, was I gonna add this one to it? Why the fork not? Oh my God, holy root system. <laughs> okay, we got a node, we got a node. So let's put her right here. Question my planting abilities really. Oh wow, that was a lot more than I expected. Okay, we got a whole, we got a whole root system in this one, wow. So now I'm gonna put this one under here since there's like some more space on this side. There are some terrariums, maybe the more advanced that I get at this. They have some terrariums that are like more narrow at the top, which means that you have to go in there with like bean sauce. How do you say that in English? Tongs, like little uh, bean sauce, whatever that is in English. I can't think of the word right now. It takes a lot longer obviously because you have to put things like little by little, but then people make like full on like little fairy things out of it. Like, or they have like a little theme to the uh, terrarium. Wow, I really could be messing this up right now, but who knows, you know? We can only learn from our mistakes and from the ones that we don't learn from, we'll keep making them until, until we learn them. Food for thought with Abigail. I do everything and then I think it looks okay and then I have to change everything because um, that's also very accurate to my way of existing, you know? Do you think people do this as like a professional job? I would be down if I could actually like not mess this up and do a pretty good job at it. Like I'd be down to do this as a job. As a now I'm gonna add the little rocks and stuff to it just to add the finishing touches to this one. Oh wow, I should have thought this through. the nursery and they said that you only have to really water it after the first initial water, which, which is not a lot, right? Because it doesn't have drainage. You just have to wait for everything to dry out. Um, and now that I think about it, she wasn't really clear about how that is done. I'm assuming that when you look at it and you can tell that it's dry, you know, I really wish that it was kind of straightforward. But then after that, you only have to mist it. 
once or twice a month. So this is a very low maintenance thing to do if, it, if it's true and that she wasn't just saying um, lies to me because she, she wants me to fail at this. I'm pretty sure she doesn't because she was a very nice lady. What a freaking nice way of having plants in your life and not having to worry about watering them. Because honestly, that was the hardest part about having plants in an apartment. But I just want to be a little old lady that owns a nursery. I think that would bring me a lot of joy. Wow, I'm just, I'm really impressed with myself right now. Honestly, I don't, um, I do a lot of things wrong in life. The majority of things I do not right. And this, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job at. We gotta give ourselves like compliments and we gotta give ourselves a little bit of hype. You know what I mean? Just. We gotta appreciate when we're doing things right. And right now, I think I'm doing things right. I might be using up too many rocks. That might be a thing. But I feel like, other than that, I'm freaking killing it right now, man. Hell yeah. I feel so good about myself right now. Hell yeah. I see why they say this is self-care. Cause you feel so good about yourself. Just like, oh, I could cry. Oh man. Is it the estrogen going through my body? Because it's almost Valentine's Day? And because other things are happening? in my biology? I don't know, man, but I freaking made an ecosystem right now. Wow, oh my God, the first one is done, dude. Like, I freaking like this, man. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, the next one I'm gonna make is for my little Valentine. She is a 12 year old at my, that trains with me at my jiu-jitsu gym, and she kicks my ass every day, literally every day. So I'm making her a Valentine, hoping that maybe she won't um, squish me next time. But you know, 12 year olds. If I were to give any recommendations to people doing this, have a little pot on the side where you can put all the leftover soil. With this one, I kind of wish I had beans us. I'm gonna put a little bit of dirt all up in here. <laughs> me do this does this bring you peace does this make you feel good are you exiting out of it because you're like what the heck this girl is just freaking putting plants in a bowl <laughs> i get it but understand that this brings some people peace and happiness and i hope that you're one of those people who finds peace and happiness in doing this class and I had my my professor said that if you heard anybody say the word dirt that he would um, automatically fail you so dirt 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 F minus for me and how nice like if you can make this for like your mom or for your friends or maybe you have a 12 year old that also kicks your ass in jiu-jitsu um, maybe if you make them this time for number three okay the last terrarium which is Oh, this giant thing. Why? Why did I why did I do this to myself? I already have two. Why do I need to have a third one? Because I like a challenge. Oh my god, Abigail. Okay, I have to stand because this I'm not I'm kind of vertically challenged. I think by the third one I kind of have a better idea, especially since this one's a little bit like bigger. I have a better idea of like what to really do. Um, but I could be completely wrong, you know? as well which fun I'm just learning all these fun facts about me today and doing things that are kind of like meditative like this um really do kind of help you focus a lot you know okay now because i'm a little bit ocd about it i need to get something that i think will help take out the little pieces of rock in the places where i don't want them 
Okay, so I have these little like tweezer things. I guess I can show them there. Tweezers for my eyebrows, but you know, I just need to like get these little rocks out of specific spots. Just because I don't want rocks everywhere. I can see myself like really getting into this and like getting all the little tools. Like they have like a little rake or something. And then this is where I get lost into insanity, I think. I'm sure that they have ways of doing this so uh, you don't feel like you're losing your mind. I question like, how can I be hyperactor, hyperactive, but then also focus at the same time? Cause sometimes I feel like I can't focus at all. And then sometimes I feel like I hyper focus on things. I name it, oh, I, I, my, hi. <laughs> Hello, my name is Abigail and welcome to my YouTube channel where now I'm doing geranium ASMR apparently. Okay, I think that's really it, you know? I mean, at this point, I'm just kind of being OCD about it and not finishing things completely or just like, you know, feeling like oh, you could do so much more, which is true, I probably could, but at some point you have to be like an artist and just call, know when to call it quits <laughs> and know when to put down the paintbrush while I'm still talking about this, so. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you for sitting here and watching me put this together. This is the finished product. If you like this, be sure to subscribe, click that button down below, share it with your friends. Maybe they like to watch this kind of stuff too. Thank you for joining me. See you in the next one. Bye.